What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PBC YouTube channel. So today we're going to be going over remarketing lists for search ads, also referred to as RLSA. Um, so remarketing lists for search ads allow you to build remarketing audiences that you can actually target in on the search network. Um, so kind of more of an, an advanced feature for advertisers. So when you're running your campaigns, maybe you want to add more targeting or more layered targeting. Remarketing lists for search ads are a great way to give you a little bump in conversions and kind of improve your overall results. So to get started, what we have here is we have our AdWords campaign AdWords account open, and we also have our analytics account open. You're going to make sure you want to make sure those two accounts are linked. Um, so in order to do that, you want to click on the wrench icon over here. Go down to linked accounts, and you can quickly link your accounts if you haven't already. Um, this allows you to create audiences in Google Analytics and actually publish them directly to AdWords for your use. So what we're going to do now is uh, create audiences in Google Analytics. So what we're going to do is come over to our Google Analytics screen. You want to come down here to the admin section, and then go keep going down. Go to audience definitions and then audiences, and you want to click over there. Uh, so right now we're in the audiences page. This is where you manage all of your remarketing audiences. Um, you can see here, create audiences to engage with your users uh, for audience marketing integrations, like remarketing lists for search ads. Um, so here's what we're going to do today is we have a betting campaign over in AdWords here. So it's a beach betting. These are different ad groups here, uh, some of the keywords that we're targeting. So what I want to do is use this betting pages audience here um, and I want to target them separately and actually bid higher on people who have visited my website and have actually visited betting pages on my website. Um, so these people have already shown some level of interest in beach themed betting uh, because that's all we have on our website. So what we're going to do, just to show you how I create this audience, you just come up here, click new audience, and then come down to users who have visited a specific section of my website. And then you just add all the separate pages right in here. Um, so pretty simple. We're going to come back out here. I'm going to show you my audience real quick. So it's betting pages 30 day. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're collecting anybody who's visited any of these different pages. Uh, so it's saying page contains, you know, product categories betting. Um, some of our blog posts, ultimate guide to beach theme betting sets. Um, and the way we have it set up is it goes this page or this page or this page. So basically anybody who's visited any of these pages um, will be added to our remarketing audience. If you want to separate it out, make it a little bit more targeted, what you could do is say, I want someone who visited the Starfish Betting Quilts page and they also had to visit another page, but this will also limit your audience a little bit, so don't really worry about that, so we're just going to get rid of that. So it's just anybody who's visited any of these pages, when we click apply, it'll show users over the last seven days. So it's saying 339 users have visited these pages over the last seven days. So now in order to target them, there's a very important thing you need to do. So you have your AdWords and analytics accounts linked. So what you need to do is come down here, click next step after you create your audience. Make sure you have, you want at least like 100 users. If you don't have 100 users, it's going to be a very small audience. 339 is a decent size. Uh, so we're going to click next step. And now it's going to say audience destination. So you actually have to publish the audience in different destinations here. So we have AdWords and analytics. It's going to say display size zero and search size zero because I just created that audience. So it doesn't have it yet. Um, but you want to make sure you're publishing it to both of these uh, areas, and it'll give you a little drop-down menu where you can just click on it and then just click publish. So now what that does is when we go back into AdWords here, um, what I do is I come up to my wrench icon up here, and I go to Audience Manager under Shared Library. So now I can see all my remarketing audiences that I've created, um, and it'll show the size that you can use them for search, YouTube, display, Gmail, so all these different audiences that I can use for my targeting. Um, so this is the one I created just now, Betting Pages 30 Day. Um, it's going to show, you know, it's not going to show a, an audience yet because it's still populating, but it's showing, you know, anybody who's visited these pages, memberships open, and it's available across all these networks. So what we're going to do is come back into our campaign here uh, because it hasn't been added to anything yet. So it's just one of our audiences that we're able to use. So what we're going to do is come into our ad groups here. So I actually want to just go directly into the beach betting ad group. And first what I want to do is show you my keywords so you kind of understand what we're doing here. So the keyword, keywords that we're targeting, beach betting, so we have a bunch of modified broad and exact match keywords. We're bidding 15 cents, so I just lowered these right before the video started. Um, so we're bidding just 15 cents on these for, you know, just as an example, 20 cents on the exact match bids. Um, so it's it's just our cascading bid strategy. We bid slightly higher on the exact match than our modified broad match keywords. Um, but what we want to do is come to audiences here, because that's where you manage your remarketing list uh, for search ads audiences. Um, so what we're going to want to do is add our betting pages audience here so we could actually uh, target and bid higher on that audience. I'm going to show you some of the different options you have. So you click plus audiences here. It's going to show add to ad group beach betting. You can add it to the whole campaign if you want, um, which is probably what I would do. But I'm just going to show you the ad group for now. Usually I keep it at the ad group level depending on how I structure my campaigns and the audiences I'm using. But um, you have two options here. So targeting and observation. 
So if I click on targeting, that means that I will only target the 339 users. Um, so come to website visitors here. I do betting pages 30 days. So just assume it's 339 users. That's how large the audience is going to be. Um, we click save. So right now I have this targeting. So if you set it up as targeting, what that means is you're targeting only those 339 people when they search your keywords. So only when the 339 people uh, search one of the keywords I showed you in the previous uh, step with beach bedding, beach bedding sets, all those types of keywords, it will only be limited to those 30 people. And right now what I'm saying is just keep the same exact bid. So what I can do is say, you know, let me increase the bid. So if someone from my remarketing audience who should be highly, you know, interested in beach theme bedding and buying new beach bedding because you don't fall, you don't, you know, come to our website by accident. Uh, what I could do is say, you know what, I want to increase my bid by 100%. So a $10 bid will become a $20 bid um, and click save. So now anybody who's on this audience, I'm targeting them directly and I want to increase my bid 100% from what my keyword bids are. So in the previous step, they were 15 cents and 20 cents. So now my keyword bids, when this audience searched those keywords is going to be, you know, 30 cents and 40 cents respectively. Um, now, targeting really limits your audience. It's only good if you have a huge audience that you want to target. Um, for example, if I said, okay, I want to take all users to my website over the last 30 days, let's say it's about 10,000 people. If I want to take all users and I only want to target them and bid higher for them, then you would select targeting because you're eliminating anybody who's not on your remarketing audience. Uh, so you're, you can kind of see it here. Targeting allows you to narrow the reach of your ads to specific criteria. So you're just targeting that audience. Observations shows reports on how your ads can perform on selected criteria without limiting your campaign. So if I get rid of this, add new audience here, and we're going to do observation. So what observation means, so I come into website visitors, we're going to do betting pages 30 day, click save. So now we're targeting observation for betting pages, it just switches. Uh, you can't really do targeting and observation in the same exact ad group because it's, it doesn't make sense. Um, so what we're going to do is enable it. So now what we're saying is anytime someone from the 339 people on my list uh, searches one of my keywords, I want to increase my bids 100%. Otherwise, if someone who's not on my list uh, bids on one of these keywords, just keep the bids the same. So that means you can bid higher on people who are in your audience. Um, and it works well, I mean, because you're finding people who have already shown some level of interest in what you're offering. They've already been on your website. Maybe they've looked at a product. Maybe they've added something to the cart. Maybe they have an account. They're at least familiar with your website. And maybe they didn't convert the first time because they just weren't ready to buy. They were still in the research process. Now they're kind of, you know, getting towards the buying process. So what you want to do is bid higher on these people. So that's why remarketing lists for search ads work so well. Um, and you can test different audiences here. And you can also just keep your bid adjustment at 0%. And what's going to happen... So we do 0%. What's going to happen is, let's say you get data for the next 30 days. They're going to show you how these people perform. Clicks, impressions, you know, click-through rate, conversions, everything like that. They're going to show you how people perform on this list, whether you're bidding higher on them or not. And then you can decide how high you want to set your bid. So let's say you let it run for a month. They give you all the data. Okay, everyone in your betting pages audience is performing twice as well as people who aren't in that audience and are just bidding on the keywords regular. So if they're performing twice as well, then you just take your bid adjustment and you increase it by 100% because those people are more likely to convert and they're better customers for you. So that's exactly how remarketing lists for search ads work. Um, there's really no limit to what your, you know, the audiences you're creating. The main thing is you need a big enough audience. So I showed you this one. It said 339 before when we created it. Um, so that's basically it. You need big enough audiences to be able to target and actually bid higher on. Um, I prefer to use the observation setting because you can see how people are performing and you're not limiting your campaign to a small audience. I would only use targeting if you have a huge audience. Let's say you get, you know, 100,000 visitors a month and you're targeting very specific keywords, then using targeting makes a lot of sense because you're only targeting people who have been to your website and are on your remarketing list. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, kind of an advanced feature, but actually not that difficult to get started with. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching our videos today.